Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to learn about the chapter that is the energy from chemicals. So in this chapter, first of all, we would like to cover the exothermic reaction. What does it mean, exothermic reaction? Exo means exit and therm means heat. So basically, exothermic reaction is basically the type of reaction in which heat is given out. So if we will say this is the system, a reaction is going to take place, then heat is given out to the surrounding. Uh, when an anhydrous sodium carbonate or sodium hydroxide pellets which dissolve in water, so then there is an increase in temperature. So the mixture then loses heat to the surrounding as it cools down again. But when we are going to say that it is going to produce heat to the surrounding, then we can record and prove it by the reading of thermometer. So this thermometer proved helpful to tell us that this reaction is exothermic. We will record the initial reading. For example, initial reading is 30 degrees centigrade. After this reaction, if it is going to be uh, 45 degrees centigrade, then we will say the rise in temperature is of 15 degrees centigrade. So after uh, having a look on these readings, we can confirm that this reaction is exothermic. There is another way through which we can learn that this reaction is exothermic by touching this beaker. So if it is going to be heated up, then we will say that this reaction is exothermic reaction. Then in that case, we can look at this graph where direction of reaction is given like this. After reaction at room temp, first reaction will start at room temperature. And then it will reach towards the maximum temperature which it will attain. After that, it will come down and cools down. So hence the solution has less energy than the solid and water at the start. So this is the way through which we can describe this is the uh, exothermic reaction. So what does the meaning of surrounding? If we will talk about the surrounding that heat is uh, uh, released to, to the surrounding or given out to the surrounding. So surrounding is our solvent. If we are going to take water especially, then we can say that surrounding the solvent or water is our surrounding. Air around the test tube or around the beaker is the surrounding. This beaker or if we will use the test tube, then the test tube will itself will be the surrounding. The thermometer is the surrounding. So all the part which is not reacted in the reaction or not part of the chemical reaction is called as the uh, surrounding. So this is the surrounding which we are going to describe for this system. Okay, then energy level diagram for exothermic reaction can be described as that products have the solution where product is formed has less energy. The solution has less energy than the solid and water at the start. So at the beginning, what whatever is the energy it is going to have less energy so products have less energy than the reactants so this is the energy level diagram why products have less energy because all of the heat energy is released or given out to the surrounding so we will say that this product has less energy move towards the endothermic reactions so what basically endothermic reaction is? Endo mean in, endo mean in, therm mean heat. So endothermic reaction is the such type of reaction in which heat is taken in from the surrounding, all the heat is taken in. So for this purpose, if we will talk about this example, if we will dissolve ammonium chloride in water, there is a decrease in temperature. So the mixture takes in heat from the surrounding. This is the surrounding from where it will take the heat. As it warms up again, it warms up again, but this, this beaker will again, we will say the solution has more energy than the solid and water at the start. So this pan will become cool. So when it is going to absorb heat from the surrounding, so all the product 
reactants have less energy whereas products has more energy and when products have more energy in itself in it then the surrounding will have less energy we can describe this by this having a look on this graph where we can say that reaction progress this is the direction of reaction direction of reaction in endothermic reaction temperature falls and will attain minimum temperature which which it wants to be then after some time it will come again towards its room temperature so this is the way through which we can describe the endothermic reactions in which heat is absorbed from the surrounding and products have more energy we are going to talk about products have more energy whereas in exothermic reactions products have less energy why because all of the heat energy is released or given to the surrounding so another important question that where chemical energies come from okay where chemical energies come from so basically bond energies is going to describe that how can we describe the either the reaction is exothermic in terms of bond energies or endothermic if we have two atoms like hydrogen and hydrogen so if we will describe it two atoms are there so these two atoms are going to combine together to form a molecule that is the hydrogen molecule so if we are going to discuss that the, there is the hydrogen molecule a new bond is formed so when two atoms are joined together by a chemical bond if we will say that two atoms are joined together by a chemical bond then heat energy is given out so here we can write and say that he, when a bonds are formed when bonds are formed heat energy is given out when bonds are formed we will say that heat energy is given out heat energy is given out now in next when we are going to discuss about the covalent bonds so when this covalent bond is formed energy is released with this negative sign that is 436 kilojoules so when two atoms of a hydrogen atoms combine together to form one molecule of hydrogen gas then we will say that minus 436 kilojoule energy will be released so bonds formation is given as the loss of heat so now then when the covalent bond is formed uh, 436 energy is given out but same energy is absorbed when covalent molecule of hydrogen if we will say this is the molecule of hydrogen so this is the covalent bond in the hydrogen molecule when this covalent bond this covalent bond if we are going to talk about this covalent bond when this covalent bond is broken then what will happen we will gain two hydrogen atoms so whenever we have to break the bond we have to provide the heat energy so same amount of heat energy will be absorbed or taken in so same word will be used so heat will be provided to break this bond so in order to break this bond to convert into the hydrogen atom we have to give a provide heat and this hydrogen molecule will absorb heat so we can write it here that bonds broken in bonds broken heat energy is absorbed heat energy is absorbed so this is the way through which we can describe how bond energies are involved in it but if you are going to get a question like describe either the reaction is in terms of bond breaking and making either the reaction is exothermic or endothermic what we will say remember 
whenever chemical bonds are made between two atoms heat energy is given out so the change is exothermic this change is exothermic so we will describe change is exothermic in each and every reaction bonds are broken down and bonds are formed when bonds are formed we will say that this is reaction uh, exothermic reactions when bonds will be broken down we will say this is the endothermic reactions if more bonds if more energy is released in bonds formation if more energy is released in bond formation that we will say the reaction is exothermic if more energy is absorbed then released then we will say the reaction is endothermic so bonds broken is the endothermic process in which heat is absorbed or taken in so this is what we have learned today about the exothermic and endothermic reactions in the next lesson we are going to discuss about the energy profile diagrams of exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions i hope so that you people have learned it very well consistency is the key of success signing off miss aisha manzoor